Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh okay. Um. Hello everyone. It's Aurora Mystic here. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am in scrubs today. I just came home from school. Today I had my second exam for abdomen class. <laughs> it was pretty tough. It was a lot harder than my first exam. I believe in myself. I'm just crossing my fingers, praying to God that I pass. <sighs> Abdomen is just, just getting a lot harder, for real. So today, I wanted to talk to you guys about my experience as a diagnostic medical sonography student so far. There's not a lot of diagnostic medical sonography videos out there well towards people's experience so I want to document my experience I want to show you guys my journey and what I'm going through as a diagnostic medical sonography student first off a little introduction about myself I love to stream video games through a gaming platform called mixer I love to work out I keep up with my fitness I work I need to make money to pay the bills to pay for my school oh my gosh my school takes a big chunk of my check and it's I have credit card bills I have to pay off, I have rent, Whew. I have to keep up. So much going in my life while going to school full time, Monday through Fridays, every single day. Wake up early in the morning, 6 o'clock a.m., sometimes at 5.30 a.m. I have to study my ass off. Whew. I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. It is hard. Life is hard been challenging anyways enough about that let's get into where I'm at at the program so right now I'm on my third module I am learning about abdomen two weeks ago I just got done practicing my liver protocol I got an A on it on my liver protocol exam proud of myself before my abdomen module my first module was all about my GEs so I took anatomy and physiology English math legal terminology and Physics. physics is involved it was a little bit tough because I haven't taken physics but I got the hang of it and I passed the class after passing all of those classes I moved on to my second module which is all about ultrasound physics whoa yeah that was fun I, I really enjoyed that class. I also took patient care in my second module I had an amazing ultrasound physics professor he definitely prepared us for the SPI which is very important for you to pass before you register before you take your specialty exams it is a prerequisite basically SPI exam shows if you know your ultrasound physics or not in order for you to play with these machines it's all about the waves the frequencies you're using ultrasound high frequency sound waves to produce images of internal body tissues and organs and structures it's it's really cool and it's just not all about the babies sonography is not all of, all about the babies i know many of you guys think that no it's definitely much more work you're helping the doctor find abnormal findings in the body for example let's say you're scanning a liver you find cysts you find irregular nodules and you find a huge mass the size of 10 centimeters you're like a detective a professor wanted us to focus more on the SPI he wanted us to focus more on ultrasound physics because they go hand in hand with the machine my professor did so much for us he was an excellent professor. The way he taught, the way he broke down things for us to understand physics. Because of him and because how much I've studied for the SPI, I I passed. The moment I saw my exam score, I almost fainted. I I was in joy. I was happy because it's just that studying for the SPI did interfere with module three. So that combined was just a mess. Abdomen is no joke. It's a lot. You need to know the pathology. You need to know the ultrasound appearance, your protocol. I'm glad I got the SPI out of the way. I pass. I'm happy. And I just wanted to thank Mr. K for that. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. These are my liver protocols that I had to practice. There's so many shots I had to do. It's because I had practice for my first protocol. And I'm keeping these forever because they will help me throughout my future. My second protocol exam is coming up in two weeks, I believe. We just learned how to scan the pancreas. 
the spleen, and the kidneys. Really cool. It is a two-year program. I have two more modules left. Module four is going to be OB, and module five is going to be vascular. Ooh. So each module in my school is about 12 weeks. July of next year, that's when I'm going to start my externship. Holy crap. I'm going to be working with patients. Real patients. <laughs> That's intimidating. We're not even there yet and I'm freaking out right now. Sometimes I stay after school two or three times a week just to practice with my scanning. That way I don't forget because when it comes to externship, I do not want to forget my protocol. My last thoughts. Mm. It's definitely getting harder. Me going through all of this, make money, trying to pay bills and this and that, spending time with family, going to school every day Monday through Fridays I'm surprised I have not gone crazy what I don't do from doing all of that is I don't stress the more I stress the more I freak out the more I hyperventilate the more I overwhelm myself the more sad I get when I stress I get emotional when I stress and I don't want to do that I don't want to put a burden on myself so I don't know how I do it I just I guess it's just the way I am. I'm a happy person. I like to think positive. I stay optimistic. I'm always smiling. And sometimes through hard times, I just move on, go through it because life is too short to stress out over anything and I just want to enjoy my life. The more you stress, the more negativity. I am putting myself through hell for two years. But you know what? In the end, it's going to be worth it. Importantly, I'm going to help people people in need, people who are sick, people who need the care. I'm ecstatic about my career. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my experience so far as a sonography student. It is a growing field. Not a lot of people know what this job is. Every time people ask me what I'm going to school for, I say diagnostic medical sonography. And they're like, mmm, sounds fancy. What is that? In easier terms, I say ultrasound. And they're like, oh, so you get to scan babies. I'm like, yeah, that! <laughs> but hey, it's much more than scanning babies. Much more. Way more. It's a really cool field. I'm enjoying it so much. I can't wait to be a sonographer in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my experience so far. Um, this is definitely going to be a journey. I'll try to upload more videos on sonography. If you guys have any more questions about my experience, about the school, just anything sonography, comment below. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Woo! Bye! Goodbye!